Well, it is May 4th and we are off again. We have enough of these uh, scooting vlogs that uh, some of the things are going to have to, uh, some additions are going to have to be made to uh, the vlogging. There's a, a lot of contents coming in uh, now that we've got our uh, uh, outdoor camera. Uh, I start vlogging outdoors. I remember the vlog is basically a vlog, per se. It can also be a scientific journal. It's, it's a, 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 because it's a video log. And so other vlogs will start coming into play. Uh, you'll see segments of them uh, within uh, our life of Cyborg Alpha. Uh, but uh, you'll have to go off to other vlogs to start to see them. If I were stubborn and of a different mind, I would have gotten into an accident because I wouldn't have let them through. But it took me 20 seconds to avoid an accident. Now ask yourself a question. Are you always right and insist you're being right and because you're right you always get what, what you want? Or do you allow 20 seconds to go by and avoid that accident? I got this, these people who pull up to the stoplight expecting to roll through without checking any traffic. This is where the problem comes in. Of course, she honks at me. It's my fault that I'm crossing the street and that she can't, can't be waiting at the, at, at the stoplight where she's supposed to wait. Anyways, we've changed to a lighter jacket. The winter jacket has now gone away. So I do have to bear a bit of the cold as we go along the, 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 the wind that the sort of produced. Uh, because the roads are wet and a little slick, I'll be uh, monitoring my speed, keeping it to about 30 degree, 30 uh, kilometers an hour. Uh. This guy did not give me the... These are, these are the people who race. And you see how, how he just kind of shaved me there. And the thing is, I know, pe I know people who drive like that, and they actually, that these people are wearing racing gloves. <laughs> it helps my performance on the uh, road. We need these racing gloves here. Oh, I guess that's where their talent is, and then their racing gloves. They have no skills at driving, so they uh, need the racing gloves. I can hear the slickness of the road. 
So, uh, I'm not going to be pushing this much faster than I'm doing now. I can hear the wetness of the road in the, in the tires. So these are the conditions that force you to slow down and not be uh, traveling at the at the maximum speed. It's one thing in the car, another on the uh, scooter. Is it uh, one of my friends last night uh, called a lot for help? Uh, The grip on the road depends on the thickness of the tire. That's why a lot of these uh, uh, racing bikes, some of the, 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 the uh, not the bikes, the cars have the, the racing cars have these big fat wheels, and that helps in the in the rain. Uh, it helps the uh, car get a better grip on the road because you have a wider stance. Now there's no point in going beside the bus because the guy's gonna pull out. So I'm gonna give him courtesy and wait behind. It doesn't take too long to have this type of courtesy. It doesn't cost anything really. So you wait, you're patient. As I know I have a faster pickup than this guy does. So you leave that distance so you have enough time to put the throttle in. Job done. Let's see what happens with these lights now. I have to slow down because there are cars coming across. You slow down at the at, at, at intersections because you have no idea what people are going to do at the stoplight or on the side streets. They, they just come right on up. And if you're just going your own speed and not paying attention, or not caring, you're going to get into a car accident. Or in this case, a bike accident. And it's not going to be, it's not, it's going to cause a lot of damage to yourself. So it's better to be cautious than to, uh, like I said, you see a lot of people, don't care. For most people, it's about the insurance. It's about what they pay. It's not an issue of safety or concern at all. Very light touch on the accelerator. Pickup speed is here. We've got the uh, radar up ahead. Okay, it's out of service right now. <laughs> so we don't know. 
I think I'm probably doing about 30, 35. Maybe less. garbage day. Tuesdays, Tuesday. Tuesday and Thursdays are garbage days. getting a daily use out of the scooter. It's not bad. Still May 4th, <laughs> uh, getting our days right, we did mess up on our days a couple times. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock in the evening, about 21 hours into the day. Uh, we're off and heading home. Say hello to our neighborhood dog. We don't go in now, about 30 kilometers an hour, that's what we were doing coming in. There's still a lot of people on the street 
walking. I still got to keep my mind on things. I uh, sure my focus on the road. Just because it's getting easier, this is sort of the, the, the tendency is to sort of slack off and uh, you begin to lose your focus. Uh, here, the uh, focus must remain. So let's see what happens at the edge of the street here. Oh, we've got a bus here. Taking a left turn. it up so that the front part closes off and gives me a good enough wind protection, but uh, that hasn't happened yet. So. The road is dry now. The road is completely dry. So, we should have a good rotting condition. It's doing about 35 kilometers an hour. I, again, now, what's going to pull me back? More than likely, the fatigue will pull me back, and I won't do the full 40, 45. But I find myself a little shaky in places I shouldn't be shaky, but still, nonetheless, that's the case, and that's uh, more than likely an issue of fatigue. And this is where you have to bring in some of the extra caution. Again, the thing is, is you want to prevent the accident. You don't want to wait until the accident actually occurs and then do something about it. It's about preventing the accident. So taking preventative measures. And there are ways you can do that. In almost any, any situation, if you study it well enough, if you do a good enough job at observation, you can reduce the risk of almost any condition to an absolute minimum. And as an observer and explorer, that's what you have to do. Because if the only way to get out and explore, to get out and do this observation, is sometimes you have to go into situations that would ordinarily be dangerous, or have some degree of danger to it, and you have to, to, to reduce the risk to an absolute minimum. That's how it works. Uh, like I said, you see most of the drivers today, uh, out on the road don't care about that it's mostly about insurance about how much they're going to pay us if they get into an accident they're not concerned about the injuries i mean they're sorry afterwards but while they're driving the thoughts are very simply not on their mind all the lights so we're making very good time today we're coming to our midpoint which is McNichol
So we're past our halfway point, our midpoint. And so now we're in the home stretch. One of the issues of fatigue is that, again, where the mind starts to wander, you have to remember to hold on to the handlebars. <laughs> where you don't have, nearly, in the car, you don't have to sort of necessarily think about these things, but when you're uh, on the scooter, you do because uh, that's how you balance, balance things out. Your balance and your control depends on your grip on the handlebars, and uh, that creates that, that uh, situation creates for a bit of tension, and this is where some of the stress, stress and anxiety comes in. have a light and I'll have to, that's when I'll be able to do my nose. Some guy sitting with his uh, car. As I was saying, distraction while you're driving. Distracted driver. <laughs> Blowing my nose, fogs everything up. <laughs> and off we go. I'll do some more of the nasal clearing when I get back to my office. Looks like there's a bit of backup up there. Some rides, there are lots, there's a lot to say, a lot on my mind, so we can discuss things other times. It's nice just to have the ride. You know, just to talk, just to have, you know. Listen to the road, listen to the wind. I will be setting up again to do these uh, night observations. Uh, that will be in another a vlog called the Oral Vlog. Uh, that's what's coming up in a little bit. A bit heavier stop than I would have liked, but anyways. The brakes are working well. And I've got a bus behind me. Uh, we're off in 25 seconds. I charged the camera again so everything's okay, everything's fine. So now it's a matter of uh, uh, offloading the clips as, a, a, as I can. So let's see here, five seconds. And there we go, we're off. hard to accelerate are all those bumps. Because if you accelerate over a, over a bump, that's how you get air. And that, one of the things you don't want on the scooter while you're going full speed is air because it's difficult to land it without crashing. Oh, there's a rabbit. The rabbit just caught across the road. Kick in the acceleration. But, uh, that's okay. Did a better job turning there. 
Taking the corners are often a difficult thing. So you have to get the, you have to get things just right. Can't lean too long, can't go too go too fast. Call your angle of attack. <laughs> 